Okay, so question is given is Nick start jogging and run faster for three minutes. Okay, so he run faster for three minutes and he walks for five minutes. So another point is he walks for five minutes. He stops at an intersection for two minutes. Run fair quickly for five minutes. So again, he ran fair quickly for five minutes and then walks for four minutes. Okay, so this is the data given and we are told to plot or graph distance s versus time t. Okay, so let's have our axis first. t axis and distance axis s. So for three minutes, he walks faster and faster. So for three minutes, he'll accelerate after three minutes. So this is time three. After three minutes, he walks for five minutes. So it will be a constant speed. So we can have a straight line since speed is constant. Then it stops at an intersection for two minutes. So this is three plus five, that is eight. And it stops for two minutes. So that will be horizontal line since there is no increment in distance. So it stops for two minutes. So eight plus two will give us 10. And then he start walking fairly quick. Okay, so again, it's a uh, or we can it's given running fairly quickly okay so that can be represented again by a upward trend line okay a slope with little high and it is done for four minutes so we can add four minutes so 10 plus 4 is 14 so this is the graph for s versus t okay and your point we have to remember is since in real life we don't just directly switch from a particular speed to another we have an inertia so there will be a curve here it will be a smooth transition and similarly here we'll have a smooth transition now we have to plot the diagram or a graph for ds by dt Okay, so we'll have your same time t axis versus ds by dt. Okay, so since at time 3 till time 3 minutes is increasing his speed and that assuming it's a constant speed increment, so we will have a straight line till time 3. Again, after time three minutes, he start walking, but this initiation of walking will not start suddenly. Okay, so he starts walking at, at constant rate. So we'll take it as a horizontal line. And after five minutes, that is at around eight minutes, that is three plus five, eight minutes, he stops running or walking. So at that time, velocity this ds by dt is nothing but velocity is zero and this change in his velocity from constant walking to zero is not an instant but a gradual process so we'll have a slope like this and the velocity will come to zero and it will remain zero for next two minutes so that is at time 10 okay now after 10 minutes again he starts walking fairly quickly so that walking is for four minutes so we can again have a increment in its velocity and it's a quick walking so we'll add a velocity to it and this walking is again not instantaneous but gradually it will increase to quick walking and this will go till 14 minutes now the important fact here we have to understand is there is no 
discontinuity due to sudden stopping or walking since in real life we cannot stop instantaneously or start walking instantaneously we need we have an inertia and that is what is represented by this curve thank you